In project two, we're going to start working with images. You'll see I've picked three of my own images, and I really want you to use your own images primarily because there's a lot of copyright issues with taking images from the web. So while you may find my images a little boring, you're largely going to see pictures of my dogs. The object here isn't to talk about my pictures or my dogs, but how to format pictures, how to upload them. And I firmly believe in modeling responsible behavior. I only want you to use images that you actually own and have a right to use. I took these images. They're of my dogs. I'm legally allowed to use them. So we're going to create this page, Mary's Favorite Dog Photos, and we're going to have three different pictures. Now, I want to look at the inspect element here for a second, and you'll notice that I have my H1 tag up here at the top describing what's going to be in the page. That's an important aspect of search engine optimization. Every page should have an H1 tag that clearly describes the contents of the page because that'll make it easier for your page to get found by search engines like Google. Then my next section, you'll notice I have three div tags here. This is the first time that you're seeing me use a div tag. A div tag logically divides the page into divisions that I can do some special formatting and things with. So you'll see that I have a div division here for my first image, a division here for my second image, and a division here for my third image. So I've logically broken the page into three sections. And each one of these has several nested elements. You're going to see that I have a figure. So my image here is a figure. And you can see the box surrounds the whole figure. Then I have my image, which is Nessie. It has alt tag. And in some browsers, if I hover over, you'll see the alt tag. Otherwise, it will show up when images aren't being used. And then it has a new element for HTML5 called the figure caption, which is right here, Nurse Nessie, my figure caption. And you can actually do some formatting on those. Now, with my division tags, my div tags, I can use the align statement. I've used three types of align, and there's only three types. We have center, left, and right. And you'll see for my heading, or my H1 tag, that's centered. And then you're going to see that I have my centered image. I have an image aligned left. And I have an image aligned right. And each one of these is in a figure and we'll have other things defined for it. Now, in Optana, this is a real simple program. You're going to see that we have our standard heading, body, my favorite dog, photos, and then each thing here replicates. I have a division, div tag. It aligns. I have a figure, which allows me to put the caption to it, and the image is part of my figure. By hat nesting the image inside the figure option, that gives me the caption option. That's new in HTML5, and I really like it. I've been waiting for it for a long time. Now, the important thing you need to know, and the reason that we're using file folders, is because we want everything right here in the file folder. So that when I go to find the picture, my image source is nessie.png. Now, if it wasn't right here in the same folder, I'd have to put the entire file path to it. We're going to work more with images in the future, but simply, if it's in the same folder as your HTML file, you just need the name of it in quotes. The alt text is what will display if the image doesn't, and then I have the width and height. Now, you should format your image because if you go in and just randomly change things, I'm going to save that and preview you'll notice that you can skew things out of proportion. You also want to get in the habit of, and I'm going to put that back, you want to get in the habit of editing your files in Photoshop or some other programs. 
Photoshop is, is expensive. Photoshop Lite is if you could get away with using paint, you want to do something that will resize. And you'll notice I'm typically sending my maximum width between 300 and 400 pixels. So on my screen, 400 pixels looks like that, 300 pixels looks like that. It's somewhat flexible where you'll see things sort of resize and shift as I resize the screen. We're not really getting into responsive design yet, but we can and we will in the future. The other thing I want you to notice is that you can format your big captions. I've added strong here, so you can see you're getting a strong caption. So this is what you need to create with your own original images, and please resize them. I want the maximum width no bigger than 400 pixels on your images, and nothing smaller than 200 for the width, and then just sort of let the height follow along with it. So you're going to need three photos. You're going to create three div tags. I want you to use the figure, figure, figure caption, and as always, you can go to my site, mary.mccdjm.net forward slash web 105 forward slash project 2, and you can right click, view page source, and you can see everything I did. Again, Control plus plus makes it a little bit bigger if it's easier for you to see.